Hello everyone, welcome to the all new security incident response workspace demo. Before we begin, this release caters to all the use cases of tier one and tier two security analysts. We have reimagined the user experience across different touch points of an analyst user journey. This is a landing page that the analyst would land onto by navigating from the workspaces menu over here. The landing page presents information about security incidents and response stars under my work, my team's work, and an assigned work. The landing page presents disposition of work by surfacing up key security incidents and response tasks that need immediate attention. For security incidents, we have different widgets just by priority, by state, by category, and SLA. All of these widgets are interactable. For example, if I would like to filter the critical incidents, I can do so by clicking on the widget directly. The bottom half presents a filtered list view. We also have a corresponding card view that helps analysts go through the information quickly. The right hand side has the upcoming section that presents information about security incidents and response tasks that are due SLA either today or tomorrow. The analyst can access them by clicking on this link. It will navigate them to a list view where the analyst can go through the information and focus on those that need immediate attention. Now let us get back. The quick link section over here acts like a bookmark. You can access third party sites and systems without having to exit the workspace. We also have the traditional list view where we present security incidents, response tasks, and user reported fish emails and so on. We have pre-applied filters such as assigned to me, assigned to team, and quick filters that help triaging in a much faster and efficient way. We have a quick filter, open incidents with priority equal to critical already applied. So this would filter down critical incidents with much ease than having to go ahead and apply these filters against the list view. These quick filters are completely configurable and can be further personalized according to the user. Now let us understand how the user experience has been made delightful while handling a security incident. The overview page presents information or key statistics that are associated with the security incident. We have description, business impact containing configuration items and associated uh, users information. These are further filtered based on asset type and criticality. The threat intel section has observables by finding and by type. We also have response tasks and related security incidents information on child security incident and similar security incident. Similar to the landing page, all of these widgets are interactable. Now I see there are three malicious observables and if I'd like to know more about these observables, I can click on the widget directly. It will navigate me to the investigation canvas with a filter pre-applied. In the classic UI, investigation is done primarily on related lists. And we have been hearing from customers that the experience is completely disjointed. There are too many related lists. The analyst has to navigate from one related list to another. There are multiple flicks. And sometimes the analyst doesn't even know where to look, the, look for information after performing an action. All of these are reimagined to a great extent in this investigation canvas. Investigation generally happen on these artifacts, such as observables, configuration items, users, and so on. So we have presented them as entry point lists out of the box. You can go ahead and configure them as desired. Whereas understand how all the information associated with observables are presented in one logical section so that the analyst doesn't have to navigate across different places or perform multiple clicks to get the information required. Let me select these observables and click view associated info. Now I have all the information such as threat lookup results, observable enrichment, and sandbox right in one place. By default, we present the latest results. You also have an option to go ahead and fetch all the results. There is so much of information, but so less real estate that we have tried maximizing the space by introducing different filters and navigation. So you can filter down what information you're exactly looking for. You can also collapse all, expand all, get to the exact section to find more information about what you're looking for. You can also perform all the orchestration right from here. Now let's switch gears and get back to the details tab. The details tab has all the information such as the security incident related form fields in this 
we have short description, assignment, you know, the priority information and everything related to it here. While the analyst performs edits to these information, the analyst can quickly post work notes from here. In the classic UI, the activity stream that holds the work notes is extremely noisy. There is infinite scrolling, and it is very difficult to get to exact information what you're looking for. This has again been greatly reimagined with the help of the platform provided activity stream. You have pre applied filter sets that helps narrow down exactly what you're looking for. You have a search option further to get to what you're looking for. The scrolling is limited because we have side-by-side -side context while performing the edits. Now let us move on into the investigation journey. One important aid or tool that comes handy while performing investigation is the playbook. In the classic UI, playbooks are built using flow designer flows and are rendered with the help of response tasks. These response tasks are again Another, uh, these response tasks are nothing but another related list and it is hidden amongst those multiple related lists. One activity is presented to the user, the analyst has to perform that activity, complete the response tasks for the next set of steps to start appearing for the analyst. The experience is cumbersome and it is not ideal. Now we have reimagined this again to a great extent with the help of the platform provided playbook. All of these steps are rendered as interactive activity cards. The analyst can perform inline orchestration, for example, submitting to Sandbox right from here without having to go to a different place, perform the action, and come back to see the results. The analyst can also view results in line right in this place. In addition, the analyst can go ahead, skip, cancel the playbook, or you know, filter the uh, uh, cards based on the status of the playbook and cancel the entire playbook itself, not just these activity cards. One great advantage as compared to the classic UI is the ability to manually add playbook. For example, if you're investigating a phishing incident and it turned out to be a malware incident too, you may want to invoke a malware playbook. You can do so by quickly adding the malware playbook from here and both of the playbooks would work in parallel. While you're performing the playbook activity, you can pull on the activity stream right from the uh, right contextual pane and add a quick note. We have the analyst assist that helps figure out the different KB articles that can come handy while performing investigation actions. Similarly, we have run books that are pre-configured based on a rule. We have access to templates over here that comes handy while uh, creating a new security incident or you would want to populate uh, certain fields in a predetermined fashion. So you can apply these templates and all of the fields that are applied are shown and you can also go ahead and undo the changes if required. The attachment section over here helps access to all the attachments associated with the security incident. You can search the attachments, you can also download them, remove and rename them. So this right contextual pane gives access to all the key utilities that are required throughout the investigation journey. You know, they are just at a click away. Moving on, we have surfaced up the response tasks uh, at the security incident level for any response task related activities. Further moving on with regards to related records, we are presenting all the security incident related lists in the related records tab. While the investigation experience has been improved with the help of the investigation canvas, there would still be need to access these related lists. Now we have slightly improved the user experience here by grouping them into different logical sections. As you see here, you can also search them by direct names over here. All right, moving on to the other records section. Here we have all the collaboration records. Like if you have any incidents, problems or change requests raised, you will be able to access them from here. Similarly, you have access to all the emails received sent uh, uh, from this section. One again advantage that we have as compared to the classic UI is the ability to access draft emails. This is not possible in the classic UI. You will just be able to type the email and send it across. So here while composing an email, you'll also be able to you know, access quick messages that can be inserted while uh, you know, composing the uh, email. Similarly, you have response templates that can be applied while composing the email. Now let us go back and understand the next set of steps in the investigation journey. 
As the investigation progresses and comes to the review or the closure state, post-incident review becomes an important piece of uh, uh, process. You can take these assessments associated with post-incident review or also request assessments as required. We also have access to the post-incident review reports that can be configured at runtime, previewed and downloaded as required. Now, this brings me pretty much to the end of the demo, except covering some of the trivia. We also have ability to link, propose, promote um, security incident to major security incident as required. In addition, we can also associate and view MITRE information. So you have the MITRE card presented with different tactics and techniques shown. So this way, all the information required for an analyst to perform investigation is presented to the user in a, in a more uh, simpler and easier fashion. We also have access to the security tags, and that brings me to the overall functional demo of this section before one last piece, that is the dashboards. So you can have all the dashboards that are available out of the box for the analyst from the dashboard navigation icon over here. So you have option to change these different dashboards and access them. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you would enjoy the new user experience along with us.